U.S. Naval Observatory, of course, that's our that's one of our government's observatories. Actually, the the current structure of the U.S. Naval Observatory today in Washington D.C. D.C. is the home residence of the vice president. So that's that's the vice president's official house. They live in the U.S. Naval Observatory. But the observatory hmm. is not just a you know it's not just a nice name for a house. It actually is an institution established by the federal government to do a lot of things. But one of the big things that the U.S. Naval Observatory is focused on is very precise locations of stars and planets in the sky. Part of the reason that they're so interested in that is for the purpose of navigation. And, okay. in, and even still today, we're, we, we calibrate our GPS systems based on our knowledge of the, the locations of the stars. So we use the stars to be able to calibrate our GPS systems. Well, okay. th that means the more accurately that we can know the positions of the stars the more accurately we can calibrate GPS. So even today, the U.S. Naval Observatory is carrying out not transit observations, but observations that are giving us a better idea of the uh, of higher and higher precision locations for stars and planets in the sky. So we can nail down orbits, we can nail down the location of the sun relative to the Earth, and we can nail down the locations of stars in the sky relative to each other so that we can then use the, those high, highly accurate positions to calibrate our GPS systems, which helps us know our locations here on the Earth. Wow, that is uh, that that's pretty amazing, and and uh, you know that is science really working at a high level mm -hmm. and informing uh, us in so many different ways. I guess those stars are. Wait a minute. Uh, Seems like I remember a show where you there was a red shift and these stars are moving. I was thinking for a second there, we had those stars just in a fixed location, and that's going to give us the information, and we're done, right? <laughs> Wrong, okay? But, but it gives us a lot more accurate information. It does, it does. And so, so even though the stars are moving some, their, um, their motions within the galaxy relative to just the daily motion of the Earth or even, even a year on the planet Earth, uh, th that's actually relatively small. So, so okay. We do track the motions. We call those proper motions of stars within the Milky Way relative to each other. But, but again, that uh, in terms of the angular change per day is a whole lot smaller than just our the change of our position because we're rotating around the Earth or we're orbiting around the Sun.